Hi everybody, today we're going to show you how to reduce the size of your Outlook PST files. PST files are, e are uh, essentially database files where Outlook stores all the email and file attachments that come in. They're all stored in this PST file and these things can get to be huge. Um, our, our company, Encryptomatic LLC, develops products that, like uh, Outlook add-ins that um, help people send encrypted email messages and we also have email viewing applications that help people manage email content. So all day long we are working in Microsoft Outlook and this is um, a question that, that comes up from time to time. So we wanted to make a video and help you out with it. So I'm in Outlook 2013 and here's what we're going to do. Click on the file menu and before we compress the PST files and make them smaller, why don't you just clean it up and make sure that everything in your deleted items and is, uh, is cleaned out. So what you do here is just click on clean up tools and then empty deleted items folder. You can also uh, do uh, mailbox cleanup if you'd like. And tell you what, I've already run that so it's not going to run it for me again. It doesn't need to, but um, if you haven't, what will happen is it'll just kind of walk you through the process. It'll empty out all of your uh, deleted items. And that's a good thing because it just means we can make your PST files that much smaller. Okay, now let's go to account settings. And I've got a whole bunch of email addresses here. And I don't know, maybe you have one, maybe you have a whole bunch of them also. But uh, what we want to do is go over to data files and then click on the PST file that you wish to compress. I'll just take the one that's right on top here and double click on it. Usually what I do is um, I'll just put the date on here and today just happens to be the 16th of, of uh, October 2015. And I, I just put the comments in there just so I remember the last time that I that I did this. And what I'll do now is just click on Compact and Outlook will go to town compressing the PST file and making it smaller. This might take a while depending on how long it's been since, your last, since you last cleaned your PST file. Okay, I sped this up, but Outlook took about 10 minutes to compress my PST file. So um, now that it's done, I can go through and do other PST files if I want, but the, uh, the file is, uh, is now compressed and it's as small as, as it can be at the moment. You know, it's, it's, a good idea, it's a good idea to compress your PST files regularly. When you delete files, they don't actually delete from the PST file until you, act, until you run the, um, the cleanup function. So uh, a lot of people think just because they empty out the, the trash folder that those emails are gone. But, you know, in the case where you're deleting a very important email and there's uh, legal discovery and they get a hold of your PST files, and uh, there are tools out there that can actually um, bring some of those emails back to life. So it's really a good idea if it's something you really want to destroy after you delete it, go ahead and, and compress that PST file and get all that uh, get all that stuff cleaned out there. So we hope you found this interesting. And if I could just put in one quick plug. Our company is Encryptomatic LLC and we produce uh, add-ins for Microsoft Outlook, including email encryption add-ins, and we have an add-in called Message Export that helps to, to uh, export your email messages out of Outlook to PDF and other formats. So if any of that is interesting to you, please stop by our website, encryptomatic.com, or give us a phone call, or shoot us an email. We would love to hear from you. And if there's anything else we can do to help you out, let us know. Thanks for watching.